I just had to exfoliate because I'm going to get a tan. This is an exciting weekend. It is currently Saturday. We've got a lot to do, a lot to do. But first, let's sign my lease in LA. That is what I have to do right now. I will come back with more information later. To me, but I give them destinies, two levels, no devils. Good morning. I am officially starting the vlog. This is going to be, there's like a sun glare. 70 degrees right now in Washington. What is going on? This is like LA weather. I am going to be packing and prepping for our Greece trip. I mentioned that we are going somewhere fun. We're going to Greece. We're living the whole Mamma Mia lifestyle, doing the whole entire thing. I just showed up. I'm getting a spray tan because what is a vacation without like a good spray tan even though I still have a little bit of California sun on me it just is a boost of confidence you know and if I'm about to have my mama Mia moment I want to feel good so getting a spray tan then I'm going to be showing you my packing tips I've gotten pretty good at it if I do say so myself but let's go get a spray tan I can't wait so that girl was just watching me talk to my camera which is super fun she's a tan girl Oh my god, that tan was much needed. There is just something that a spray tan does to like, mm. Also, it's gonna develop over the next two hours and I need to make sure that it doesn't develop too much. I go to this organic place. They are always so kind and make you feel so comfortable. I just adore them. And also it feels good because you know they're using like good products. Let's go get some coffee and then we're gonna go home and do all of the sorting sitch. Shout out to the girl who did my tan. God, they're always so nice. Hi, can I just get a medium iced matcha latte with oat milk? I haven't been here in so long. Does anyone else just have um, music for a sushi shop stuck in their head? Music for a sushi shop? Is that what it's called? Music for a sushi shop. I don't even know what to do with my hair today. I'm just barely fits in a little clip. So. I got my matcha. Look at they put have a wonderful day on it. How freaking cute. So I came home, finished my last video because I'm trying to get two done and have them ready to upload for when I'm gone. I just don't want to worry about it. I'll feel good keeping up on schedule. But now it is the official packing time. I have some things together, other things not together, but I made a list for anyone needing some advice on how to pack in the categories that would help. I made this list. Even though my handwriting is crazy, I'm going to screenshot it and insert it in the screen and explain. So for clothes, I have them organized in these different categories. So outfits, we're gonna be there for two weeks, but I'm bringing about 10 outfits and a couple of those I can mix and match. Second thing is extras. So a few extra t-shirts, maybe like an extra pair of shorts that doesn't fit in an outfit, just in case you're not feeling something one day. Third thing is workout stuff. No matter where I'm going, I mean, I'm probably not going to work out, but bring a couple pair of biker shorts, probably one pair of leggings, and a couple workout tops just because some days I know I'm going to want to dress casual and I probably won't even end up wearing all the outfits I'm going to bring, but it's fine. Four is at least one or two comfy fits. One of those I'll probably use for the plane, and then, I don't know, I just feel like I can't travel without at least one pair of sweatpants and a hoodie because if I don't have it, then it's like, ugh, I don't know, if the room's cold or something, like... You just have to have a bit of comfy. Oh, I have extras on there twice. That's uh, cute. I really didn't want to forget extras, I guess. Six is jewelry. I'm going to be putting all of my jewelry into this little box so then it doesn't get all tangled. So I almost ordered a body chain, but what I ended up doing was taking this really long necklace that I had that I never wore. It's such an odd length. Like it's giving me Dwayne The Rock Johnson vibes. So I added a bit of this chain. This is just like chain stuff I got from Michaels and now it fits perfectly around my my waist I literally was able to like customize it and I also did it with this thing somebody sent this to me when I was going through chemo but this one's like a really cute giving me y2k vibes did the same thing added a chain and it goes around my waist so now with like bikinis and stuff I'm so excited sometimes I love to DIY my life you know okay just drop my matcha gonna put the jewelry in here seven is shoes I always try to bring the bare minimum of what I need a tennis shoe a nice shoe a sandal a waterproof shoe 
like a flip flop probably my cowboy boots will be my like extra pair that's like fun e is like at least a jacket or a sweater or both because weather is so temperamental i mean unless you're going to freaking i don't know somewhere where you know for sure it's going to be hot all the time like even hawaii it's hot during the day but then cools off at night so it's good to have that for when you get cold nine is swimsuits and cover-ups we are going to be in Greece so I'm bringing a ton of swimsuits I'm not bringing like too many and I might shop for one or two there 10 is accessories so these are like hats head wraps I'm bringing this like silk scarf that I'm gonna wrap around my head and I really want to get a photo in sunglasses all of the things and then 11 is bags I'll probably bring oh it's not there anymore I'll probably bring this brown bag and then like at least a small purse and then a couple tote bags definitely a beach tote and then the biggest thing is the plane bag so i'm someone i like to have everything i would ever need on a plane this comes to toiletries i'll show you what i end up packing i need to go to ulta and target so that is not completed yet that'll probably be a tomorrow thing but toiletries a face mask or like under eye masks books download music and movies and podcasts before so then you're like set you know you're gonna watch listen to because you don't want to pay for wi-fi on a plane that's like ridiculous snacks i've been hearing a lot it's actually like good to not eat on the plane if you're trying to not be too jet lag when you get there but i don't know a couple snacks always do good password id wallet of course headphones uh, charge both i'm bringing over the ear and then airpods chargers extra outfit i'll probably just bring like a hoodie and like an extra pair of underwear or something and meds i'm gonna carry in my plane bag empty water bottle possibly i don't know if i'm gonna bring my hydro or not and then a neck pillow i just bought this guy i don't think i've ever slept successfully on a plane but for this trip it just feels like it's gonna be a necessity so i got this guy it's like memory foam and you can kind of shape him into different different things but yeah it just wrapped around like this definitely gonna bring some melatonin and we'll see if i actually sleep i don't know if not it's just comfortable you can also like wear it here or like whatever it's nice that is my list there'll probably be a few things that i was missing but yeah i have three books that i'm bringing i actually so I've, this is my may book the emily radikowski my body it's really good i'm almost halfway through i really wanted to try to finish this before i left i don't know if that's gonna happen but i wanted to bring three fiction books because these are just like vacation vibes so the first one i got is conversations with friends i love sally rooney i didn't read normal people because that book or that show ripped my heart out into like a million pieces but i've heard this one is a little less heart-wrenching so i'm gonna read it before i watch it i honestly don't think i could read normal people it just hurts too much this one i saw on tiktok it's called funny you should ask is this not the cutest book cover you've ever seen i think it's about a reporter who falls in love with a celebrity yeah i'm excited and then i have a little mystery in case i want to switch it up this is we were liars i also found this one on tiktok they all seem like pretty easy fun reads yeah i've been a big big reader girl lately so definitely bringing lots of books that's my favorite thing to do because i have the time today i might show you the outfits that i'm bringing so let's do that oh my god my camera just tipped over on my tripod and the only thing that cracked was screen protector so shout out to cam months ago for putting that screen protector on but i took this photo somehow like i think i was trying to grab it and i accidentally took a screenshot how freaking funny the fact that i captured my like <gasps> Oh no, I was like not right before my trip. Am I gonna break my camera? So let's get into the outfits. These are all of my extra stuff. So I'll show you that at the end. But right now I'm just gonna show you the outfits that I have. Also, I chipped my nails. What is going on? I'm falling apart. Everything's breaking on me. My nails, my camera. So first outfit that I have, I actually wore this in New York once. I have this long cream skirt. This is from Nasty Gal. And I'm just gonna wear it with this nude top. This is just from Shein. I'm sorry everything is like either a pop of color or neutrals that was kind of the vibe that I'm going for like no dark colors either just neutrals or a couple of like bright pinks and stuff also a lot of skirts because it is gonna be warm but skirts are like nice because you can throw on like a little sweater or something second outfit is this fun skirt from Princess Polly that I haven't worn yet it's very like y2k vibes and I got this pink top to go with it because I thought this would be fun and bright I have my uniform my overalls of course I'm bringing these because it looks like it's gonna be around 70 so definitely on the cooler side but still beautiful so I'm just bringing a little black Aritzia tank to wear under 
that. Bringing, of course, a couple button ups. I mean, these are good for over a swimsuit. So I don't know if I have an outfit for this guy. I'm gonna wear this white button up with this skirt i also wore this in new york it's from princess polly it is just so beautiful neutral this will definitely be like a dinner outfit or something and then i just have these mom shorts from zara these are my favorite and then just a little aritzia top these are my favorite i literally wear these 24 7 it's like the tna ribbed top i have it in like four colors i'm obsessed so yeah and then i think with that i was gonna wear this blazer over it because i thought that that would be so so cute i love like a casual look with a blazer over it to add a little bit i'm bringing a few dresses i'm bringing this one that i wore to the dominic fight concert i don't really know how to show you because it's long but it has like a bralette top and then a cutout i will definitely be wearing this with those body chains that i made bringing this champagne dress because i just feel like you can't go wrong with this definitely bring like a heeled sandal to wear with these dresses this one is long sleeved oh i need to bring spandex to wear under the dresses and then i have two knit ones i have this one i haven't really worn this yet i don't think or maybe i did once it's from verge girl i'm obsessed or is it verge girl i think so oh no pepper mayo not verge girl super long and pretty and it goes like all the colors are very fitting together then this one's another pop of color it's this blue and green it's high necked knit dress this is from pack sun super cute i got that new for the trip and then i got i'm bringing a couple crochet items because i feel like these are so in this summer so i got this little one from zara and it goes off the shoulder that'd be cute over a swimsuit i found this one at forever 21 which i was shook i thought it was so cute also from forever 21 love orange right now so that's fun my last thing is my swim cover-up it's just this crocheted pant and top set from nasty gal and i love this it's so cute and then the last thing that i have is this bikini well i guess i have a few bikinis i'm bringing but this one i got new for the trip it's like bright green underneath i wish it was reversible but i think with the stitching it's obvious that i'd be wearing it inside out but that and then i reconfigured the top so i'm going to wear it like this <laughs> like the young tiktok youths do <laughs> i'm gonna wear it like this because i've got tiny boobs and i kind of hate a triangle cut so i like how this turns it more into like a bandeau it took me forever to get the strings back in i don't have outfits for it yet but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be bringing these these are my also my uniform pants like corduroy ribbed from urban love those i have these low-rise cargo pants that have been my latest obsession i've been wearing them so much they're for like $15 from H&M. I want them to come out with more colors. I mean, this shade is amazing, but I'd love it if they did some like fun, bright colors. And then I felt like I needed, this is just such a European thing. They're like these long linen pants from Zara. And I love buying pants from Zara because they're always long enough because I've got long freaking legs. And I didn't want white ones either. So I got this like pretty, what is this beige color? And I could wear it with any of the tops that I brought. And then my swimsuits that I'm bringing are my normal ones this is my kanoa swim matcha set i'm bringing of course this black one piece this is like my favorite swimsuit it's got a low back and it's high rise and then just a couple others i love this one super high rise but not too cheeky i like like a good covering at least like a decent triangle size these are perfect this is the other swim cover that i have it's cute it's pink with little daisies i'm pretty sure i wore this in hawaii as well and then last one is this other kanoa swim set this one is a triangle top i actually like this one on me yeah that's pretty much what i'm bringing for clothes of course underwear bras spandex a couple like casual workout sets i don't know if this is too much i'm gonna have to fit it in my suitcase and see what i can do but <laughs> we'll see and then for accessories i'm just bringing a couple hats little trucker hat and then this is the silk scarf i was talking about that i'm going to be wearing i, I just think it's so like european and beautiful when you wear it like this wait hold on you know like that's not exactly right but you get the gist and then just a little bucket hat which makes me feel like paddington the bear that is my clothing update i will come to you with the official one once i start filling up my suitcase because i don't know how much room i have i've filmed three tiktoks today i don't know why i'm in like a tiktok phase i'm not usually one to make tiktoks but today i was in the mood i'm gonna get this together and yeah Hi 
good morning it is officially the day before our trip and we woke up to a fun little email that all of our flights have been changed which it's actually a better flight because we're leaving at like 10 a.m rather than 6 but we're getting there later which means we'll miss our flight to Mykonos so big problem mom is stressed but I think it'll be okay as long as they compensate us for the flight change then it's no biggie but we're on hold today I'm trying to charge up everything I'm getting this video ready to upload and then I'm going to actually edit this video tonight and finish editing because I'm not bringing my computer it's a big deal I'm trying to have two videos ready to upload I need to figure out my suitcase stitch because it's craziness and it looks like it's exploding so i need to sort that out i have plenty of room in my carry-on though so i'm not worried about that i need to do laundry i need to go to the store i just took a covid test because i woke up with a sore throat which is scary but i get allergies around this time of year all the time and being home with the weather change from la i think my body's just freaking out so i need to go get some like cough drops and stuff but i know it's not covid because i feel great the only thing is my throat's a little sore i also need to do my nails i think i'm just gonna do my classic like more multicolored French tip. I was gonna do white but then I just felt like that was a little bit I don't know so I think I'm gonna do my fun one because it's like our summer trip so I'm gonna finish doing this video I'm gonna go do some laundry and I'm gonna take you to the store with me later because I need to get something. I don't know why but like going to the store before a trip is just so fun to me. Target and Ulta you know? Okay goodbye. Okay, update. I did my nails. Look at how cute they are. And I made a breakfast burrito. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go to the store. Today is just a big errands day. Yum. Okay, hi. We're officially out of the house. Let's listen to Harry. I'm going to Best Buy. I think it's time my AirPods are on their deathbed. This year, technology just hates me. My computer died. My headphones died. It's just not a good year for cam and technology. And my AirPods like only connect one ear at a time and it just bugs me. I've had them for a really long time. So it's not like I didn't use them to their like last leg. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy and then I'm gonna go to Target get a couple like snacks a couple little things so let's go summer weather out here okay so i went to best buy and they didn't have the headphones but they ended up having that target on sale so i got them i ordered them from target and while i'm waiting i got my favorite starbies drink for those of you that don't know this is the iced oat milk latte with the vanilla sweet cream cold foam and it's literally my favorite starbucks drink and i'm not a big starbies girl but this just hits every single time I'm ready to fly. I just have to go to Target. That'll be good. I did Ulta also. Got the basics. Got all the things I needed. I got a couple of Milani products. I haven't shopped for Milani products in forever. But I feel like the beauty gurus just talk about it. And I'm going to try it. Cheers. I'm so excited to get my headphones. Whenever I get new Apple products, I like fan girl. Okay. Shopping was successful. Got my AirPods, which were not fun to buy but at least i got them i got them for a really good price at target so i'm happy about that also i'm shopping in oregon so it's tax free which is wonderful i also got dandelion root tea this has been helping with my tummy and my digestion a ton the cheese at snack mix if you know you know i got two different i wanted to take a ginger shot i'm feeling like i talked about how i have a sore throat i just feel a little bit off but i honestly just think it's my allergies it's that time of year for me that they're just so bad and it's not covid got an immunity boost and then i'm gonna take this before the flight tomorrow it's this blood orange guava shot this packaging is so cute also i like to save these and then use them to make my own ginger shots at home so it's like they're reusable but yeah it's a probiotic shot which i think it's so important to make sure you're taking probiotics and everything drinking a lot of water the day before flight so got that i got some tums i'm gonna try this pixie hydrating milky mist i got some ricola because for the throat from Ulta. I had to restock on my ordinary products. I'm gonna try the retinol. I've been using the Paula's Choice, but I'm gonna try the ordinary one. I got the organic rose hip seed oil. This is my favorite moisturizing oil ever. It is literally so good. I swear it like brings my skin to life. And then I got the hyaluronic acid serum. And then I got a waterproof. The girl at the the girl that checked me out said that this is a really good one. I just love like lengthening mascara and my camera's gonna die. Oh my gosh, the last thing 
things I got a Milani bronzer and a Milani cheek stick because I'm out of my favorite Ilia one. I'm gonna try these new AirPods out. I'm so excited, but my camera's gonna die, so I will talk to you later. Okay, so I made it home. I ate Chipotle. Sometimes it sounds so good, and then my tummy just doesn't feel good, but it's protein. My room is a mess. I'm cleaning my sheets so that I can come home to a clean bed I'm trying to plan out things I'm going to take on the plane It's just like I love packing, but I just want to be as prepped as possible I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so I can edit it so that I can have it ready to go up while I'm on my trip So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're excited for the Grease content coming soon Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll definitely be making some fun content on there i don't have anything else to say please like and subscribe and leave me a comment as to which man you love the most from mama mia mine is the one that the mom ends up with that she ends up marrying i also downloaded the movie so we can watch it on the plane tomorrow okay i love you so much and i will see you soon I goodbye for the second time she told me not to lie you said honey i 